we're back. And I'm gonna talk louder so you guys should be able to hear me. Hopefully without distortion. Hold on, let me refresh this page because I can't see if anyone's even watching this. There we go, now I can see the views and the likes. By the way guys, I know I've been plugging it a lot recently, but make sure you guys go check out those links, uh, especially the uh, Spotify song. Um, I'm actually in the process of trying to upload all my main songs to Spotify, at least, so that you guys will be able to listen to that and not have to download every single one. You guys can just go onto my Spotify profile and, and listen to them all together. So I will keep you guys updated on that. It takes a long amount of time to actually get stuff on Spotify right now with all the COVID bullshit. So um, just farted there. Um, but yeah, so look forward to that. Um, let's get some work done on this. I have some good ideas. Also, I'm going to try to get a better mixed mix down on this too, because I've been trying to watch some, some mixing tutorials because I feel like I'm not improving as fast as I should be. So I'm going to try to fix the mix down on this also. What's up, Justin? Justin, Walties, Hyder, and Taylor. Welcome, everyone. Okay, so before I go into some EQing, I want to... It was bugging me because I, I've been listening to this on repeat today, trying to figure out what, what I don't like about this. So, there, so there's one of the problems, so... Um, let's drag this over here because I don't want to put it into all one one pattern. So let's throw in our lead layer and then the lead. So, I want to put a saw layer on here, um, just like a flat, really dry saw on here. I'm hoping I can use one in silent. So let's get that copied over first. I think this is the new one. Oh shit, I feel like coming. Good. Jasper says, hey, Akron, did you already get some submissions for the contest? I've gotten three so far. Um, the, the pack has been downloaded 42 times, so I am definitely know there's going to be a lot more of them coming. But other than that, not many so far. Track too. 
Great, I'm still working on a remix of Eternal Joy. Hope I can finish on time. You got this, dude. You still got more than 10 days. Plenty of time. Saw. I thought it would be easier than this. <sighs> Fuck. Maybe serum. Might have to make something in serum. break a beer right back. Okay, that might, might be right back. Hang on, I'm working. The fuck? There we go. Get, get, get. 
God damn, dude. That poop was no joke. That poop was no fucking joke. Like, you know, like, you know, like, when you take, like, a big ass shit, like, so big that, like, afterwards, your stomach just feels like it's, like, shrinking back in together like this. Because of all the space that's been made. That's what I feel like right now. Ugh. <laughs> I just gotta be descriptive. Hello, Thailand. this one. I do feel better. I do feel better. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
biggest thing now is like uh, dealing with the whole fine from the army thing but I think I got like a saw that I can work with on this. Jasper, thanks so much for the thousand point. Really appreciate it. Much love and much love to Hungry. I miss Hungry. Everyone give Jasper a huge round of applause. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. <sighs> okay, so let's let's get close to make you on this because I can already tell this would be a disaster. <laughs> Alright, let's turn that up. 
Turn it down. Hungarian point. It's the currency of Hungary. Taylor, thanks so much for the $25. I really appreciate that. I think that is officially the biggest donation received on this channel. Pretty positive. Thank you so much. I don't think I'm gonna end up that, but we'll keep that there just in case. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Let's see how that sounds before and after the the reverb or yeah. Right, we're gonna we're gonna test that out with the final mix. I have read the situation you're going through sucks, dude, but everything will be better. You're for many a big inspiration. That means so much. Thank you. Thanks guys. I love each and every one of you and I, I'm thankful for even having people listening to my stuff and talking to me and stuff. It's it's so much fun for me. You guys, like, uh, if I ever get the chance to make this full time, I definitely will and it, no single day of it will feel like work to me because of you guys. But I'm going to try my best not to cry. <laughs> I swear to God, if you guys make me cry on stream, I'm gonna be pissed. We'll start talking about poop again. I'll fucking do it. All right, so let's see. Let's see how that saw layer sounds on us now. Oof, Justin officially has the biggest donation, $30. Thanks so much, Justin. I really appreciate it, dude. Man, you guys are the greatest, I swear. You guys have definitely looked out for, for me and Jessica more than anyone. Better fucking stop it. You guys, you better fucking stop being nice. Don't fucking cry. And then we're gonna get back to the poop camera. Okay? Alright. 
right, um, so we're gonna automate this one in as well to give give that part uh, some more oomph. Where in America do you live? I live in Virginia. It's a little bit too sharp. Oh wait, I didn't even fucking... I'm dumb. I didn't even uh, put this in here. I'm gonna have to automate these as well. What happened to the? <laughs> I don't know what happened to that. Did I just lose that? I guess I did. beginning let's get some uh, work done on the structure what happened wait what do you mean what happened did I miss something okay, I want to I want to EQ that pad actually that's 15 
because something happened like a minute ago. Oh, I was wondering where my fast, pretty fast LP thing went. That's really starting to sound nice. Thank you! I think I'm not gonna need this. Yeah, I'm not gonna need that one. It's so fucking relaxing, oh my G. Alright, let's cut off the parts that are gonna muddy the mix. Actually, we can keep a little bit of that on See how that sounds. Remember that time when you, where you were streaming and someone goes, I can smoke a blunt to whatever you were making? Yes, I do remember. I'm starting to feel it now with the song. <laughs> Sounds a, it sounds a lot less cluttered now. I'm pretty curious, how was the collaboration with DJ Spire? It was, it's interesting because it's the kind of collaboration where, as a collaboration I haven't heard of before, basically, I was working on a song on a stream and Spire kept sen sending suggestions in the stream chat. And so I was like, well, why don't you send 
send some of your ideas over and so he sent a couple patterns and I granted he was a lot less experienced back then and so I had to adjust a lot of a lot of what he sent me and take some liberties with that um, and then I added a couple of his ideas on the track um, like let me go back and I can show you guys the parts that were his Um, yes. So, so far, this is all me. So then here, he sent me a part. And I think it was intended as a melody, and I didn't really like how it sounded, but I wanted him to be included in the project, and so I, I kind of took the notes he had and rewrote it into something that can be used as like an intro bell. Um, and so this is what was the final result of me rewriting that. All right, and then this part is all completely me. He was the one who showed me how to do the reverse kick thing right there. Hey, Chord, I'm doing well. How are you doing? And at this point, I already had the main melody for the song written by the time. Um, yes, I also did the breakbeat. And then this melody was completely neat, but I tried to write it in a way that sounded almost like a call and response. So I wanted it to almost sound like it was clear that two people were in the melody, but the melody was completely written by me. Like, so this this is gonna sound very bitter, but I'm I'm just a person who doesn't bullshit. So this project, even though it's a collaboration, was I'm gonna be pretty generous with his part of it, but I would say ninety percent of it was written by me. Alright, and so then here's a part that he had completely written on his own, and then I just pitch corrected a few of the notes. Um, this part is come in. This part right here, the 10. And I didn't know how to include that in the song, so I was like. Yeah. This part's me. And so then he had another melody, and I was like, well, we can make like a hands up kind of melody out of this, and so I rewrote that. And that's how you get this little hands up break in the middle. But this was. I don't remember who completely, who wrote the original. I don't remember. I think, I, I want to say this is most of them on this, and that I just fixed. I think it's one of the things I just fixed. Um, and so, this was another part where I wanted to do call and response for like me versus him. Um, so, that's why I included this next part, so you could hear, hey look, here's my work and here's Akron. Oh god, that mix is so bad. And key change, obviously. I don't think. I don't think you were anything else today. No. 
But yeah, so that's that's how that collaboration went. Um, I'm which that's still my only collaboration on this channel. So I definitely have to get used to to working with people because when I have visions for melodies, I'm I'm very specific with it. Um, and I need to get better at learning to cooperate with people. Um, and so I'm hoping after this competition, I can get better at that. I mean, it's still a great fucking song, but I'm gonna be honest. My roof songs are like basic. Don't get me wrong, they are fucking good, but, um, all right, this is another time where I don't bullshit, but I promise you, I love Spire to death. Uh, I, I do think his, his melodies are basic, um, but his mixing is way better than mine, and his marketing is way better than mine, and that's why he's grown way faster than me. Um, and he also puts out music way faster than I do, so, um, all, I mean, hats off to him that he's grown his channel so fast. Him and Claus, they both surpassed me. Kenza has a different, completely different story because that dude is just straight talent. But Spyro, like, definitely better at mixing. I don't, I don't think his, his melody writing is that great, in my opinion. And I mean, I'm not gonna just because I like someone, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie about them. So. How many submissions did it get so far for a contest? Uh, two artists, um, I think a total of four songs. Two artists, four songs. Have I really been four years this whole time? Let's do some more EQing then. actually let's go into our, our dub pack for that one snare build We do like a little um, thing with accents. Well, 
Whoops, I forget. I need to subdivide. that all right and then this is where EQ that. Oh god, no. No, we don't want all those. Okay, so let's EQ that snare. Mouth is so dry. What the fuck? Go down 16. Also, we're going to shorten this. Taylor. Keep getting distracted, lol. Why do you gotta keep getting distracted? My girl wants me to come over, but I'm laying in bed watching my favorite producer's friend. Oh, well, obviously I'm more important than girls, so <laughs> just kidding. All right, so we're gonna throw this in here. Um, we're also gonna automate the fuck out of that. Exactly where I want this to go, but I 
Okay, I'm fucking sick of hearing that. Okay, I just needed that for the EQ portion. Okay, um, so we need to extend this over here, over here. So I'm glad I, I got in there and did that. Because now it sounds way better. All right, we need to add some more variety to this.
can see you that too and take this off. Alright, so we're gonna keep that base because I guarantee that's taking up a lot of that high end and reverb space. Some interesting results doing that. We'll see. This is gonna be interesting indeed. Good, but we can cut off even more. Yep, that's right. I'm just using this much. up as much as possible. Alright, now I want to decrease these layers a little bit more, particularly, let's change all these to green so I know that these are all so I know that these are layers for the lead and then we're going to change this one to blue because that's the main part whoops <laughs> Oh god. This is what I meant to fix. Is it just me or is this satisfying? What part what part is satisfying? Uh Jasper, what kind of headphones do you use? These are Audio Technica M fifties, M fifty X, something like that. Thank you. 
you do this looks difficult and takes time to do and learn it's interesting in my opinion i really appreciate that i think some of the high end can come off of this to be honest oh my god there's another one where i fucked it up now I think we did a I think we fixed some really good things on the EQ there I think we can turn this down a little bit actually. we did fix a lot in this one right now thank you I think hopefully the kick should be clearer right now too. I'm dancing in my room. 
So I'm gonna try to do this without a limiter. So, uh, the reason why I have so much trouble EQing, and it's not something I learned really till today, is um, I've basically been putting a... I've basically been putting a limiter on my mix to prevent my audios from clipping. So if you listen to, like, my old projects, I think you can hear it even in, in Dreaming of You, but... Um, I used to do it without, or I used to mix without, but I didn't know anything about EQing back then. And I started getting a lot of people making fun of my music because I kept on making music that I was clipping. And so I was like, okay, well, Seamless recommends that I put this limiter on my track. And so it basically, once your song's about to clip, like once the audio is too high, it basically compensates by lowering everything else. Um, and it makes it a lot more difficult to get a decent mix. Um, and so I'm going to try to fix the audio on this track without my limiter and see if I can do it without fucking it up too guard. Because if you can do it right, it should sound a lot more powerful. And you, your stuff shouldn't have to um, try as hard to sound loud. So yeah, so this is with like when it was clipping. You can already hear a clip right there. The so clipping is like where it, it distorts when it gets too loud. Right there, I did it again. I was not at the drop yet, it's the hardest part. I've tried, I've tried here. Just reflect on what you came from. Absolutely. But anyway, so the reason why I'm, I'm spending so much time on getting this audio is because I want to make this one the first one where I can put it out knowing I don't have a little murder on it and not be afraid. Yeah. Which we're getting close. Um, we just got to tweak a lot of the volume and everything. So now I already know that these are a little too bad. No, that one was on SoundCloud anymore, I don't think. For some reason, this reminds me of Deep Truth. Huh. 
Alright, now let's fix this one. Turn down that pad a tiny bit more. Howdy, brother man. Falk Warrior. It sounds delightful thus far. Very pretty and soothing to the ears. I like that you maintained a very original concept with this. Thank you so much. All right, makes it sound strong so far. Shake a little bit. Alright, well, okay, a kick does need to go there, but not that one. We're gonna put a legacy kick. Vintage. should be fine let's see how that sounds I really wish that there were more artists that could thank you <laughs> I do too, but I will try to fill that gap in for you as much as I can. Oh my god, I look so much clearer now, dude. Oh my god, the hat is too loud though. Okay, we're doing good staying under the threshold so far. And that's where we brick it. I'm so glad I'm finally doing this easy wise. Okay, so a few things there. One, the sweep is too loud. Um, we're going to add that to a mixer track so I can just turn it down overall. I don't think I'm going to have to EQ it, but we'll see. I might take some low end out of it. So which one was that one? 18? We're kind of just learning as we go along with this, by the way, guys. If you guys see, you haven't noticed. I'm kind of doing all this for the first time on this part. There's, there's something loud there because the snare is starting. Right now. Move this over here. We're gonna turn that on that sweep a little bit more. Oof, the green is gonna change over here. We're gonna turn down that snare. Turn on the stories more. God, those layers though. 
All right, everything's coming down. So we're gonna bring this. that snare a little bit more um, saw leads can come down a little bit more we'll keep this one up here as well as Uh, I do not have a new grounds account. Um, the same amount of sound, just the same or far fetch, but if you cross the third timpani or steel drum, you put pressure in there, that'd make it pop just so much more right before the drop. I do have like a orchestral sounding thing, although I'm, right now I'm trying to get it to fit in well. <laughs> And I think right now the snare is overpowering it. Let's turn down the snare a little bit more. Okay, and then so another thing that sub bass is overpowering as well. We'll turn that down. impact and then uh, we're also gonna cut these off making the mix fit guys we're actually getting close actually that kick needs a little bit more gear
Let's also auto, uh, not auto, um, side chain that pad, um, but only at the drop. So we're gonna throw that in there. Do a quick punch. Or quick chain. But we're gonna do like a 80% side chain. Create an automation clip for that. Turn it off. And then once it gets here. We're going to take the reverb off of this one. Mixing is hard, guys. Mixing is hard. So hard. Guys, I'm just really want to get this next year. You are doing splendidly, and we know you want to make it the best it can be. <laughs> Thanks so much. I, that's really encouraging, honestly. Thank you. Um, oh, we were gonna fix that sweep, weren't we? <laughs> Why is that so loud?
Nope. My injection is do not control. I just don't promise to always uh, follow. Anima Libera, so I think it's fine. What does that mean? So basically, you're suggesting like a harmony for the bass that's quieter, but it, it ties in more into the lead melody. <laughs> that is true. I don't, I'm gonna have to give that some thought. I don't know.
Oh, I think I did it. I think I finally got that part of the mix right. All right, let's listen to it as a whole. So. Here, I know what I'll do. We're going to compare. Start from there. Do that. Desktop, songs, relaxing, re EQ'd. Dude, that took a lot of fucking work. I'm hard with everything in my tent very well. Akron started, state of mixing is hard, and it, it, it is by no means I'm telling anyone what to do. All I've got is love, gentlemen. Sounds phenom. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Love having you here. <coughs> I'm gonna guess that uh, that um, just went to see his girlfriend. That's my guess. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Make sure there's no limiter on the track. There's not. So we're gonna do a little compare and contrast. And these should be about the same. Look at that sound wave difference. Way better on this one. Okay, so let's listen to the original first. And then we'll listen to what we did mixing wise today. That is the wrong one. That is the right one. So this is before the EQ. This is the version we have now. I can already tell that click needs to be um, softened. Okay, 
Okay, well, I was getting discouraged until I heard that. I was getting discouraged. The original track had a limiter on it. And now I've started. It was. Uh, I had Maximus on the master track. And so then I re EQ'd everything without a limiter on that second one, and that's the difference that you're hearing. And that's why I don't put a limiter on your master. This still needs some work, but um, definitely a lot more clarity on that. For sure. Holy shit, dude. Right there with you, you're in his personal circle. I started listening to Gates of Heaven. I was enthralled in power greatly. There's no denying that I might end up by a hoodie for sure. I'm excited. I'm I'm looking forward to making hoodies because uh, I think that would be really cool. I think hoodies, hats, and stickers are are what we're gonna be looking towards. All right, guys, I'm gonna go have a cigarette and then we'll get some more work done on this. But you guys can enjoy the progress that we got so far.
Yeah, I I remember. What was I gonna do? I just the intro was almost perfect. There was something wrong with it. Um. Oh yeah, Justin. So this is a tip that I can give to you, especially because I don't know if anyone told you this. So a lot of this was mixing too, like mixing an EQ. But the big thing is um, when you're starting out in FL Studio, um, you're the default template puts a limiter on the master track. And so when you're trying to mix on the limiter, it ends up, you end up getting frequencies that fight each other. And so I'm going to show you the EQ difference plus the absence of a limiter. So this is what it was before we started mixing everything today. The, main, the biggest difference we're going to drop, but everything is. Um Alright, so now after EQing and taking the limiter off and working on the levels of everything. This is what it sounds like now. And you, you should notice that everything's a lot clearer. And you can also tell just by looking at it that there's a lot more definition in this one. But I'm gonna adjust some stuff here and I have to adjust something on the drop as well. And so I tested this on my phone as well because in this one, you can, there's a lot of things you can't hear on phone speakers. And this one, you can actually hear everything. And so that's kind of what I'm going for. However, so now that I know a little bit more about mixing, our projects are going to take a lot longer to make, but it's going to sound a lot better and I'll, I'll get closer to have quality projects that I can submit to labels. Okay, so one thing I did notice, I think it was these clicks were a little bit too loud. No. Uh, never use the limiter on your master. That limiter that comes on the master is worse, even worse than what I was using on my master. All right, this I'm gonna do a mixer automation here. there I wonder if I can turn it up a little bit over here no We'll table that one. I 
Okay, we're gonna increase the reverb on this a little bit more. We're gonna take a little bit of this out, or actually increase a little bit. No, it actually makes it harder to eat you. Makes it feel better. I I used a limiter on my master track up until now, so. Mod stream only? No, not at all. This doesn't need reverb. La Lav M says, I'm new. What do you really do here? Uh, well, first of all, welcome to the stream. I'm glad to have you. Um, I make techno, trance, electronic music. Um, and I stream myself making it as well. And I also play Osu from time to time. And that's basically this channel in a nutshell. Call from my girlfriend. All right, sorry. Uh, my girl, my girlfriend was just calling on me. She's visiting her friends right now. Um, nice. I make music myself too. That's awesome. Uh, feel free to join the Discord lab, um, and you can show us your stuff there. That'd be pretty fun. Candy, welcome back. Uh, Candy, you just missed my mixing epiphany. I've done a lot of mixing on this. Uh, concept and so now I think my EQ quality is a lot better than uh, what it was for the past two or three years 
So I'm very, very happy. Also, by the way, guys, how's the mic level? Is the mic level good? I hope the mic level is good. All right, so let's let's listen. Yeah, you, sh you should notice a lot more clarity on the project now. I think we can blow the cup a little more. Oh yeah, that was a good amount of clarity there. Make it more wet. I joined your server, by the way, I subbed. Thanks so much, I welcome aboard. Well, very glad to have you. Um, what was I doing? Oh, uh, reverb. I want a little bit more of it. And I actually, this is going to be, I think this is going to sound a little weird, but I'm going to throw some reverb on here as well. Do a little bit more of that mid reverb. Welcome aboard, let's go on this train wreck of a journey. <laughs> <laughs> James, what's up, dude? Say hi to James, everyone. Glad you like it, man. Sir, how's it going, dude? James is an IRL friend of mine who is going to be a dad very soon. <laughs> so make sure you guys give him your best. What PC do you have? Because I am unsure what PC to buy. Um, I mean, depending on your budget, I'd honestly build a PC instead of buying one. Um, you'll have a lot more freedom as far as DAWs go. Um, with how much you can put into your project and stuff without like overloading and all that. Okay, guys. So I think I think the mix is finally good. I'm I'm happy to that. I'm happy with. That. I'm ready to put my stamp of approval on that mix. So I think we can go ahead and continue. I do know that I want to extend this. We're gonna add some more stuff there. What uh, music software do you use? Okay, so we got that. I think I want to add something else in the beginning as well. That's sort of the volume of that sub bass a little more.
Mitch. Mix that audio recording software. Uh, I don't even know. I don't even have that one. Okay, so so we got that. Let's add some more stuff in the beginning. I'm honestly okay with keeping this one short and sweet, lengthwise. But I do want to add like another element. Maybe a bell? We can try a bell here. I use FL Studio. FL Studio is my music software. Um, so the producer edition, I think I have the producer edition, cost me $300. <sighs> you can also pirate it, but I didn't tell you to do that. Which is what I did for years. I mean, I bought everything legit when I first started. <laughs> We all gotta start somewhere. Absolutely. Absolutely start somewhere. Damn, guys, we've already been streaming two hours and ten minutes. Well, bye. I love your music. You're a really good music artist. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you join us again soon. <laughs> I hate how much my MIDI input lags. Post notifications on for sure. Woo -woo. Welcome to the notification squad. Be sure to check out my other links. I'm also on Spotify and Patreon and Instagram and SoundCloud. That's a cool sound. Twitter, not yet, but there is one coming soon. What's up, Candy? 
Dude, I feel fat. Me too, dude. Me too. I'm unable to grow hair. <laughs> I'm not able to grow hair, dude. Is that a bell? Er, let's get you that bell. Alright, we already have that bell. I feel like I can hear an acoustic guitar in this, that's weird. Uh, no, I did not finish my Big Room song, unfortunately.
I want to have my shots now. Uh, pad so we're gonna do a really really light single layer pad oops I feel like it's lacking in bass and a little bit of mids as well. I think that's the string quality because my bass sounds like really heavy here. I'll I'll let you know in a second. But I felt like my my high is what's lacking. Oh, your mix. I was like, what? <laughs> um, send me your mix. I'll let you know what I think. Yeah, that's fine. I think I can cut a little bit more. See how that sounds. So before, after. Gotcha. I will listen to it in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna save as.
this everything? Okay, cool it is. Save. This is going to be a hefty project once I finally finish it. Save it. All right, let's listen to Candy's thing. Oh, just because the amount of stuff I've added to it. Like, hefty as in, like, loading time, loading time and all that. Hey, hold on, I gotta, let's see what I guess. I think the, the hat on the kick is a little bit too high. I'd also EQ. Those are the things I'm hearing. So I'd, I'd EQ that um, impact that you put there, or is it crash? Yeah, that, that impact is like really, really loud. Um, and I'd also take a little bit of the low end out of that. And then that hi-hat is also a little bit too loud. I'm getting like a shit ton of high frequency noise. And what I'm hearing, like, there's a lot of high, like, like, you know how, like, if you go to, like, music live in person, you always notice, like, the speakers are, like, it's, like, it sounds like it's cutting your ears. Like, that's, like, the, the high, the high frequencies I'm getting. On it. It's on, it's on your lead a lot right now. I lower, I lower the high on your lead and keep the mid where it's at, because the mid is perfect. And then your your bass your bass synth that you're using, um, I'm, I'm getting a lot more a lot more high frequency than low frequency on that. I think I think you can eliminate like the first whole bit of the high frequency personally. Well, that part's personal preference. I would I would guess. Ooh, I love that feel right there. Yeah, your your impacts overall are a little bit too loud, I think. The bass there sounds good. Although your kick's kinda quiet. That lead right there, that little buzz lead right there, a lot of high frequency on that. And like, it distracts from what's actually happening. Sucks, but this is like a really awesome remix. I love your fills. I'd possibly use a different instrument for that piano because I can only hear like the mid, the mid layer of that. All right, so bell. I love the harmonized bass line.
the pad automating with, with volume with the piano is kind of interesting. I love that break beat. This is Candy's remix that for the competition. I got that uh, DJ Splash slide in there. Yeah, the biggest thing I'm getting is that your kick is really soft. Like, it's getting kind of drowned out in the mix. And then you have a lot of jarring high end frequencies on that. Which you probably did so it could cut through, but I would just subtract instead of adding. Also, I'm definitely by no means a mix streaming, so... Yeah. Man, that's a sick track though, dude. That's so sick. But yeah, that's, I would make those changes then. Your, your mix should be pretty decent. The mids, honestly... Um, Yeah, the highs, I think, were the biggest thing. My biggest takeaway from that. All right, well, that's it for today's stream. Um, tomorrow is Flags in in Nar National Arlington National Cemetery, so there probably won't be a stream tomorrow, but expect a stream on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and possibly Monday. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Make sure you guys check those links that I'm putting in the stream. Um... Thanks so much for watching and listening and talking to me. Um, make sure you join the Discord. Become a patron at Patreon if you want to. Check me out on Spotify, SoundCloud, Instagram. More social media coming soon. And look out for those songs being uploaded to my Spotify as well. You guys have a great rest of your day. I love all, each and every one of you. Just like your mind Like the sun gives in to the moon Into the night Time continues marching It slowly crawls With each new one starting I recall